Welcome to my game. I'll be your host and humble narrator. The rules of this game are simple. Play it until the end and you'll be rewarded. This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you, and a little bit for me. <laughs> oh, the sad part is today is the day she will die. Huh. I can hear you, you know. Oh? You can? Mm-hmm. Are you inside my head or something? Hmm. Well, okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'll call you Mr. Voice. O what did you say about me dying today? Die? No. Nobody said anything about anyone dying today. Huh? Nobody said nothing? You know, I have prepared a game for you. A game? Really? For me? If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. Deal? Eternal happiness? I guess I could give that to my mommy. Okay, it's a deal. Wonderful. Fantastic. Ready to play? Yes. Your first mission is to leave the house. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Look, I drew this picture. It's the fox I see outside my window sometimes. I call him Benjamin. He's a really cute fox. Ugh, I don't care much for foxes. Look, this is my secret hiding spot. Oh, impressive. But why do you need a hiding spot? I don't like it when mommy and daddy argue too much. And when I come here, I can dream and travel far away. I see. <laughs> This is Babsy, the guardian of the secret spot. You see his eye? He got that from a battle against a monster. A monster? That sounds scary. It was. I love my coloring book. I'm gonna take it with me if I get bored, okay? This is Babsy, the guardian of the secret spot. You see his eye? He got that from a battle against a monster. A monster? That sounds scary. It was. Look, I made these paper dolls myself. This is Kimberly and this is Steven. They're on a trip fighting super evils. I saw a monster in here once. I showed it the finger and it never came back. Before you leave, which toy do you choose to bring with you? Can't I take them both? No, you can only choose one. And remember, your choice is much more important than you think. Okay, I choose... I 
choose my soft and beautiful unicorn. Perfect. You can never go wrong with a magical unicorn. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> So, you know, I like to sprinkle sparkle on things so they become fabulous. <laughs> Shadow! <laughs> Happiness to everything! Hey, you. On the other side of the screen. Remember I told you she was going to die today. Let's keep that a secret between us, alright? Grandma, she wears a diaper too. <laughs> you still wear a diaper? Nah, that was so last year. <laughs> Mommy likes to collect glasses. I broke a couple once by running too fast. Did Mommy find out who did it? No, but I had a piece of glass in my foot for like five days. was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Please don't tell on me. Don't worry. You can trust me. Okay, thank you. Hmm, maybe I could try to fix it. I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. Try to fix it. I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm a little lady, you know. Look, that's me. Mommy told me I have to smile even when I'm sad. like cigarettes in here. Yeah, that's my mommy. She also likes to drink juice a lot. <laughs> well, 
Are you ready to complete your first mission? Yes, I am. I'm gonna get that prize. Oh, that rabbits again? When will Daddy learn I like them alive? It's afternoon, Miss Fortune. Ah, okay. Good afternoon, morning. Oh. <laughs> Remember Benjamin the Fox? This is where I first saw him. He was hiding in the trash and we made eye contact. It was really intense. Yes, you told me about that fox already. You shouldn't trust a fox. They're all criminals. What? A fox criminal? <laughs> That's silly. This pool smells like a toilet. <laughs> because I pee on it. <laughs> that is disgusting. Not as disgusting as when my daddy puked in it. That was disgusting. <laughs> this is where daddy often sleeps. Daddy? Hello, kitty. Here, come. Come, kitty. Kitty, kitty! Kitty! Kitty, don't go! Damn it! I never get to pet the sweet animals! So, before we continue, you need to know the rules of the game, Miss Fortune. All right. Remember, you will be given choices on your journey. Okay, choices? There is no right or wrong, only consequences. Okay, okay, only consequences. When you beat the game, the prize of eternal happiness is yours. I'm ready. Your next mission is to cross this road. All right, I can do that. Look to the left, look to the right. Any course? No. Okay, I'm going. <gasps> I saw a monster. What monster? I didn't see anything. It was there, I saw it. It's probably just your imagination. Yeah, that's true. I have a very big one. Just keep going. We'll have so much fun. All right. <laughs> Look, a sleepy bird. Come on, miss. <laughs> Sleepy bird. Come on, Miss Fortune. Let's go now.
just a little sparkle back there. Anyway, where are we? Look, there's a puppy. Hello, puppy. What a cute party hat. Now focus, Miss Fortune. You have to make a very difficult choice regarding this puppy now. Be aware of the consequences. All right. I will play with it so we can share a nice time together. Good choice. Now throw the ball at it. What ball? This ball. Ah, that ball. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Puppy! What did I do? It's all broken now. Mr. Voice, everything I touch breaks. What's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. Sometimes life is just unfair, but I'm... Really? Thank you. Well, sadly, the puppy will miss the party now. What party? The owner of this dog, George, is having a party. I think you have to go and tell him about the accident. What accident? Ah, uh, yes, the puppy, yes. Let's go. It's all right. I'm sorry I broke. Maybe we can play later. You know, when I'm broken too. <laughs> Take the party hat as a symbol of our friendship, puppy doggy. Oh no, I step on doggy do. It says no dog 